Hey guys, welcome to Farming Simulator 19 on Marwell Manor Farm. So we were doing a bit of fertilizing. We did that on course place so I wouldn't have to bore you guys with spraying some Froto laser down. Now, I think it got done. I just noticed it actually ran out, so it may not have done, uh, finished. No, it didn't. It ran the whole entire course, finished, empty. GG cosplay, GG. Looks like we'll be going to fill that up then. Wow, that literally ran the whole entire course empty. Good lord. Well, I guess we'll be making it and then following roughly where it w would have been. Now we've got one tank here which is herbicide I think yep that's herbicide so we need to bring that around the back now what we'll do is we'll just drive around here and fill it up from here usually I'd have it on the back of a tractor or something back there but right now everything is pretty much busy So we'll fill that up. Uh, other news on the grass field though, uh, that is done. We'll be throwing lime down. There are tidbits here, there, a few of the grass bits that cosplay missed. I'm not too worried about grabbing. I'll just leave them be. And that will uh, sort itself out sort of thing. And get lime spread. I'll get that set back up on course play first, though. I'll put my priority there, and then we'll get going. We got bales up in that shed. You can see them loading in there. So really, after we've done all of this, fertilised, uh, we'll probably seed the grass field, so it's good to go. Really, all we have to do is fast time. Now, as you can see, the field is partly grown in some places. The other field is exactly the same. I don't know what went on there, but something. Kind of got messed up. And that should be full. Oh, is that out now? Really? Oh, wow, those two. Well, I guess we are buying some more fertilizer as well. Well, whether I do that today or tomorrow, I don't know. We shall find out. So, I started the course from over here. It sprains a course that I generally don't bother saving. I just don't see the point. They're easy enough to make, as it's literally just one headland before. And just generate. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be the same one. Yes, it is. Perfect, and go over here and see what way it was actually going. So to do that, we'll have to throw on these. Got a, oh, it may have been going up the field actually. Yeah, it was. Right here, I ran out. Why didn't that throw the... I updated course play earlier, I wonder if that... It's got a bug, so... I'm gonna have to keep an eye on course play. It's better though, you can't get mad. Switch that off. Oh, it was, it was on seeding still, probably, that's why I bet. Right now, you can put it on any of them and it will act... It will do the job, but it won't necessarily act properly, it seems. And back of a tad, nearest waypoints, drive course. So that'll unfold. And it's already done the headland. The headland, when I'm spraying, is the stuff I do first. And that should be this 100%. After. I trust this will get going with no issues. Alright, we'll jump into. Yeah, you know what? We'll rock this. 
and get the cedar out to the field at least. I think the cedar should be full, fingers crossed. If not, then uh, I am actually going to need to do a uh, bag run. Uh, I may need to do a bag run. Let's see what we've got down in storage. I don't think we have a lot. Uh, one bag of seed. Which, yeah, that won't last. Alright. Next shed. Had a few of you say about on Friday's video, I think it ended up being, why wasn't I using uh, 40 Mordens? Bell Spike. From what I've heard from Rainbow Dave, it's actually worth checking out, but at the time of me recording that video on Friday, or when it was actually Thursday, you guys saw it, ended up, it, it goes up on Friday, I didn't see it up on the mod hub, it wasn't out at that time. A lot of the time when I'm recording these videos, the mod hub doesn't have anything up yet. Admittedly, we had a little dump, probably not much more than a half an hour ago or so, from when I'm recording this, now you can see up in the time. Uh, this is obviously for Monday, and you, I'm recording this on Friday. Been a bit proactive on uh, getting ahead a little. Uh, next week, we'll see the return of the secondary map, uh, which I think, for now, it's going to be Fowlsburg. And uh, you may say, why a Giants map? Well, Riverview was always a sort of a holdover for when a British map come out, Marwile come out basically, long story short. I think right now I, I don't want to run Riverview anymore. It, Riverview's a good map, but it's not a good map. I've enjoyed my time on it, but I think it is time to uh, move on. I, I think most of you will get that, and to be quite honest, are probably with me on having the better map. on there, so I'll just sit and wait for something else to crop up, whether it's uh... Ah, I was hoping I'll be able to just drive under. We can, but not legit. Whether it's Meadowgrove, uh, whether it's Peterville, when I get my hands on that, which I haven't checked my PM, but apparently I'm supposed to be getting my hands on that. Uh, probably to do a first look. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The reason MJ didn't want to give it a me and Dave yet actually and from what Dave told me hopefully it's correct if MJ is watching this it was because we're picky and I guess he thought that we were just gonna or I'll speak for me this is just gonna trash them up for the sake of trashing them up and there's one thing I want to make clear to people that oh we've got seed as fertilizer we need oh bonus to make clear that they're doing stuff like that and ever want maps done first looks I never do that I never just crap on a map for the sake of it it's not my style uh, I just don't see the point in doing that if there's a map that I don't like then will I do a first look on it in the first place to be quite honest probably not or I'll do a first look on it yes but I won't just sit there and destroy it I'll say points that could be addressed in creative criticism there's something to be given for literally creative criticism, constructive criticism, where you're not just ripping it apart. Showing some of the flaws and throwing suggestions out there could be a way to make it better. Now, me saying this has actually uh, reminded me I have a message to get back to on my Facebook page, which I would do. When I'm done that, this video, actually, I'll, well, yeah, I'll do it after this video. Um, what's the Maxim slipping on? Shouldn't be slipping on anything. Not seen as well. 
Oh, it is two. Are you kidding? Wait, so I don't really have any fertilizer down here. I never actually paid attention to what it was. I just grabbed it. Fertilizer. Oh, okay. I think these are both fertilizer. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Blue labels fertilizer. Green seed. Gotta remember that. Remember that for me, guys, because uh, I guarantee I'll forget. Alright, let's see what the maximum's all about. What, what? What's your malfunction? Hey, what is that? What is the malfunction going on? How far from the field are you? Saving. Really? Oh, did he get caught on a fence post? See, that's the steering going on right there. I guarantee it probably would have made it if it wasn't for that stupid steering on this thing. Ah, oh, I hate this. I love the sprayer itself, but I hate that steering mechanism. It is a pile of crap. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we'll actually get a European suitable looking sprayer on the map. Well, I say on the map, but in the game. So one thing I think farm sim massively lacks as a European self-propelled sprayer. Doesn't need to be English, European. We had the horse one, but we don't have the horse right now. Uh, but they give us two American ones, which are just massive. I, I don't think you would see that size of sprayer in the UK, or even at, in some points Europe, because it's physically huge. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, but the Europe ones, you can just use the self, uh, the pool behinds. But maybe you want self propelled. And the only one that you can get away with is that Steyr thing. And it's neat. As some of you have asked why I'm not using it, because I said I was going to, and I think I may end up. It's just the tank size. It's tiny. And if when this is, well, while this is finished, I'll say we'll check that out. Should be right in front of me, but I'm not seeing it. All right, there. Crop spreads. So we got a new Holland up on the mod hub, I believe. We got the Hardy, which is an American one. You'd never see this. Well, most definitely in the UK. I don't know about Europe. Probably not. And then there's this, which is more of a Euro style one. But the tank on it is, it's, I guess, it's 500 liters, 5,000 liters even. But is that combined with the spreader on the back, which... Oh, I don't know how Coldplay would deal with that, neither, actually. But some of them may look into again, either way. And it would be probably... This configuration. So we'll think about it, and let me know what you guys think. Should we... Get this sooner than later? That's 211k, and we can do it now if I wanted to. And with the amount of crop that we have in the tanks and what we're about to get I would imagine that we'll be able to do it again even with no issues so we'll get save up for uh, the big combine which I'm planning on getting amongst animals and all of that good stuff I'm gonna fold that up that's good to go so we've got 2000 litres of and that's grass. 2,000 litres of fertiliser and 3,000 litres of seed. And we will probably go through all of it. But we're not going to be on this yet because we need to do some lime spreading, which will uh, flip on GPS. Uh, 
And I can just chill in here. I think that's grass. Need to check the... Oh, that won't have it though, will it? Does that not really have any of it? Yeah, it must be grass. Alrighty, start this up. I need to go into my GPS menu, so I am running uh, the latest GPS. Now, I, I saw a comment last week. As we reach the end of the point sweep. Uh, someone saying about they're not running the latest GPS. How do you doubt? Uh, where do you get the latest GPS? And that's clearly someone that's got it off of a funky website. So if you guys ask those questions or possibly think though those questions and you have downloaded it off a funky website i'm not lying when i say you guys will run in probably best part of two weeks out of date and you may think oh it's only two weeks out of date no the game is updated every single day of uh, the game the mod is updated every single day of the week down there literally pretty much from what i've seen monday all the way through to next monday it's usually updated every single day so if you've downloaded it from another website, not the GitHub, yeah, you're running out of date. You really are. So, back up. A-line, drift forward. Boom, 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 boom. And away we go. This isn't going to be perfect along here. Because I, I kind of set this row up bad. I'll go back through and fill it. i still got to do the headlands as well on this. Which what I'll do to kind of mitigate them is roll out along there. A bit further in and blip GPS on. Kind of wish they've implemented he, he's implemented a sound on it sooner than later. Definitely, I feel we kind of need that. Just so you know, it's actually engaged. Other than the green line is obvious, but it would be nice. Oh, by the looks of it, I think he's switched off the headland recognition. Which is nice. So if you're actually paying attention, you can... Oh, no, there it is. It doesn't kick it off. I kind of wish that was an option to switch that off in the settings. Because there's times where... Obviously, I'm paying attention. Uh, but... You get towards the ahead, and to keep it the same speed, you just rotate it around. It all depends on the job you're doing, too, right? Oh, wow, we're 18 minutes into this already. Nice. Yeah, as soon as I'm done this video, it makes it a week. Oh, what? But uh, I'm getting kind of hungry. And then we'll just go around the headlands after. Now, again, the reason I'm doing this is because the field needs plowing, just like any other fields when you put on the plow thing. Period plowing. Yeah, it will need it when you when you get the field. So that is the case here as well. Now, my guess is why I'm going to need to go refill this at some point in the process. Before I do the headland, I may do it depending on how much we've got left. This is, well, in the grand scheme of things, just coming along here, there's not much left. Now, I don't know about you guys, but any of you using that real dirt mod thing, have, have you got lime to show up on the wheels? And the vehicle itself? Because I haven't. And you guys can see right now I'm spreading it. Granted, I'm not driving over it, so maybe that's the case, but I've just never seen it. Never have. And I will drive over it, and it won't, still won't come up. I don't get it. I've got a feeling he's got it messed up where it's happening on solid fertilizer. Instead of actual lime. Solid fertilizer, I don't think it would ever leave the white residue. Dust, if you like. 
I think lime's kind of a chalky compound. And switch that on again. Yeah, I'll, I will definitely go fill it. It's basically going to be the end of the GPS lines anyway. Job done. Alright, we'll nuke that. GPS menu, show lines off. Exit out of that. And we'll go fill the lime spreader back up. And go do the headland. Yeah, that's what I think it is, honestly, is he's got it set to solid fertilizer. For whatever reason. And we're going to have to move the little tally handler. Get off. There we go. I'm surprised how much I've liked to this thing. I really am. I don't think I'd go with it as much as I have and use it. Thought I'd end up swapping it out to probably a normal tally handler, but no. Kept it. Alright, shut that down. Head over to this. So everything should be f nice and fertilized over here now. Yep, we're good to go there. Still got patches of weed apparently, but yeah. It's never going to be perfect, let's be honest, not with course play. Uh, stop driver, nuke the course. And fold this up. We can head back down to the yard. So, 2,255, oh, 57, should I say, for the lime. This tractor really is awesome. It's great. Now, I've seen a few, nothing crazy, but a few of you kind of question about the amount of hours on the vehicles. That is something that I did purely for a little bit of realism, per se, on engine hours. Nothing crazy, but something that I thought maybe would be legit. A few thousand hours on that. And it doesn't have any effect on the maintenance. The only thing it has effect on is how much the vehicle is worth if you sell it. And other than the combine, I don't plan on selling them. Like what I've got now, engine vehicle wise, is what I've got. And the one that's always going to be probably very much on the chopping block would be the Case Maxim. If something, what I would consider way better, comes out for something along those lines, yeah, uh, it'll be on the chopping block. But as far as the 6 get, as six r goes, the uh, Tracked John Deere, the 9, they're probably always going to stay on the, on the map, my guess. Who knows what comes out and what will get cropped up. But that's what I'm predicting. They'll, they'll probably stay as is. For the most part. Now again, because this is grass, I'm not going to do a 100% perfect job. Now, some spots you may think we'll need to go around the headland twice. We don't, because a lot of this I've already done once. By overlap. Uh, but of course, where this goes around, well, when the course play went around to do the headlands it knocked it back quite considerably i may go around we'll see on the map actually as we're on a fairly straight course right now oh uh, yeah i'm gonna need to go around again so it'll be at least two headland passes this is something i probably should have saved for a live stream but yeah it made sense to go record this now this is a video ahead on for monday and depending on where i am as far as time after this I may do a uh, plane mechanics simulator as that is now out actually if anyone is curious and I've been talking about that somewhat of late so plane mechanic did drop 
whether it's your cup of tea or not. Right now, I think it's actually on sale, pretty damn good. Don't quote me on that. I know they sent, so had it. They sent a fifty percent coupon through, and of course, I can't send that to people. Otherwise, I would. I believe that's scenery out there. So yeah, this is, this runs along that boundary. He interesting. Wonder what that. Ah, oh, I bet that line is literally marking them out the border. But if you look at the Giants editor, you'd see that. I was just wondering what that line's all about. I bet you. No one what Oxy's like. I bet that's what it is. I didn't actually drive across the line to show that it doesn't work. Hopefully it gets updated. There's a few people that I know have asked, have I managed to get the line to show? Oop. No, I haven't. Which is kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. Don't know if that's an issue with the game, or more than likely the mod. So doing this is probably something I should have done on Gore's play. This is, uh, yeah. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. As you guys could probably, may or may not tell, I haven't got a whole lot to talk about. And I did all the interesting stuff in yesterday's video for me. Although that shadow does look pretty cool. It'd be cool if you could get a picture of just a shadow. For a thumbnail. That would look pretty sick. I'm hoping we'll get this done. Get it course play going and seeding. And I'll just fast time it if it needs to be. Get those two fields. We've got one field ready to grow, but the headlands are still messed up. Just irritating. It really is. How that did that. I would rather this not to throw weeds for it. So we're driving across it, and we're still having the normal dirt texture show up. But if, you, you, if I was to go through grass right now, I'd probably almost instantly go to grass. It was on it for a certain amount of time, that's for sure. So I don't get that. Flip that on. Flip that on. And here we go. Headland number two. Might as well sit in the cab because it's kind of easy to follow where I've uh, been, for obvious reasons. If you had adaptive curve, this would be a dream. Which is coming to GPS at some point. Don't know how on earth you'd be able to map that out, but... Don't ask questions. Someone was saying actually in a live stream yesterday, which do I prefer, GPS or course play? And both. Course play is great for doing the headlands first and all of that good stuff and not getting hung up with Europe maps. I'll, I'll include English in there. Uh, the hard work is great on the American maps that are typically stereotypical square fields and, well, uh, yeah, need I say more. But course play is better for European stuff that have hedges, trees, stuff like that. It's not necessarily going to get hung up so much. And GPS, I, I love for live streams predominantly. That's why I was missing it, so I could just have a straight line going, still be physically doing it myself and getting that enjoyment from it, and being able to talk to you guys. It's just, to a point, kind of what GPS is all about IRL. It's operator fatigue. And, well, it's not operator fatigue in my case because it's a damn computer game, but... For me, it's being able to interact with you better instead of actually, am I on this line properly concentrating and I can look across without any issues. Of course, I can do the same on course play, but let's be honest, it's not the same. Kind of wish uh, I went back through and got these big patches here. I didn't realize they were so large. We may actually run out. 
Well, shoot. We may actually run out. We've got what? 4.3. Hopefully we don't. But there is a real possibility. I almost wish it could just go a tad faster. Not like 12 miles an hour, not, it's not fast enough in this, admittedly, but... You guys know what I mean. Yeah, 2,000. Yeah, we should do it, okay. We're on the home stretch. We're a pain in the ass if we just run out. Just as we're finishing. That will suck. It's just my luck, though, honestly. I really would be. But I'm thinking we'll be okay. Stay positive. And after we've done this job, which actually I should probably grab the thumbnail of. Uh, GST. Oh, capital T. Da, 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 da. Too far. That one, that one, that one. Sort quick and easy. How much have we got? Oh, 700. We've still got that, just this one little line uh, I want to do. This will probably bleed. kill it. And after we've done this, this is where we'll finish it up and I'll end up seeding on stream, I guess. Well, I'll have course place set. And, well, well, I fast time. What I'll do actually is I'll fast time first, probably get a crap ton of weeds in here, and then seed. Alrighty, that is us, completely empty, full field, and no line on the vehicle. Kind of annoying that. Anyway, I'll throw this here. See? Green, just from going over a bit of grass. That's what I mean, like, lime should be doing the same. No. Anyway, I'll throw this here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. We'll be back tomorrow on Falsburn. Like I said, drop in. Uh, Riverview probably I bleh, probably actually completely nuke it to tell you guys the truth. I will be back tonight for a live stream as per usual. So until next time, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys on the next one. Later.